All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Brandon Coin YouTube channel. I hope everybody's having an amazing January 19th, 2022. And apparently, I just got an article today. I have not even read it yet, just off the title. I feel like I should read it with you guys and have a, uh, a genuine reaction. So um, this is apparently everything we need to know about the upcoming RTX 4000 series GPU launch. Um, so if you weren't aware, 3000, RTX 3000, it feels like they just came out because it's been so hard to get your hands on them. Uh, but they have been out for a little while and you know, they, they Nvidia can't rest on their laurels. It's time to actually step up and release the next GPU. Apparently. I mean, I don't think anybody would complain if they just produced more RTX 3000 series graphics cards at MSRP, you know, call me crazy, you know? <coughs> Sorry about that. I had a little tickle. Uh, but, you know, just call, just call me crazy. But otherwise, uh, you can't slow down innovation and all that kind of stuff, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, on to the article. There we are. So, this is on uh, trustedreviews.com, and it is by Ryan Jones. So, Ryan Jones, let's, let's pick it apart. Let's see what's up. The NVIDIA RTX 4000 series, everything you need to know. The NVIDIA RTX 4000 series is expected to be the next generation of desktop graphics cards from Team Green and could launch before the end of the year. The upcoming graphics cards are said to be using a new architecture with the code name Loveless, or Lovelace, depending on where you're at. Uh, named after a historic figure, uh, Ada Lovelace. Okay. The next-gen architecture will be built upon TSMC's 5 nanometer node, according to the Chinese publication DigiTimes. It's worth remaining skeptical until a more reliable source confirms these details, although it would make a lot of sense for NVIDIA to move to 5 nanometer architecture. The rumors indicate that NVIDIA will launch a 4090 graphics card for the new RTX 4000 series, while the RTX 4080 and 4070 GPUs are expected to be unveiled at the same showcase event. Less powerful options will also likely follow, such as the RTX 4060, although we don't expect them to hit stores before the end of the 2022. Keep reading on for more details. This, this article, this ain't looking good. So there's no confirmation re on release date for the RTX 4000 series graphics cards just yet, but most rumors, including from Twitter tipster at copite 7 kimmy uh, actually... That, that Twitter uh, has has a lot of pretty good uh, leaks, as I'll call it. I don't know. you got to be careful about how you, you word stuff nowadays. Um, they leak some information, and most of it is pretty spot on. Uh, and they're pointing towards a quarter three 2022 window. The existing RTX 3000 series was first announced on September 1st, 2020, with the graphics cards hitting store shelves shortly after. We expect NVIDIA to stick to a similar schedule for the next crop of GPUs. We expect a 4090, 4080, and 4070 to launch this year, with NVIDIA expanding the range in the subsequent two years. Okay. I don't see NVIDIA launching a 4090, 4080, and 4070 off the bat. Uh, I feel like a 4080, 4070, and 4060 is probably going to be the move they make, and then they, they may flesh out a 4090, and then a 4050 at the bottom. They probably skipped the 4050 generation because they don't always make a, a 50 series generation. Like they didn't make a, a 2050, for example. Um, but they are making a 3050, and they did make a, a 1050. Um, so 4080, 4070, 4060, and then they may flesh out some TI models. I don't know if we're going to get another 90 series this close by. There was no 2090, for example. There was no 1090. Um, so I don't know if that's going to be like standard right now. Um, now going onward, NVIDIA hasn't revealed the official prices of its next-gen graphics cards. That's because they haven't revealed anything about their next-gen graphics cards other than what they're called, the, the architecture. But we've got our fingers crossed that the company will stick to the same price points as its existing range. Basically, the MSRP doesn't exist in the current market, so... To talk about MSRP is is irrelevant at this point. Um, the specs, the NVIDIA 4000 series cards are expected to be on the 5 nanometer process node, which should see an increased performance compared to the 8 nanometer process node. 
Okay, that's that's believable. Early rumors are suggested that this could result in a performance twice as powerful as the current RTX 3000 series range. We're not sure whether that means 8K gaming will be a realistic option, but it's still nevertheless exciting that NVIDIA's GPUs could be getting a serious performance boost. Um, I know nothing about like actual like performance gains on process node shrinks, shrinks but uh, if we get... Even if we got 20%, 25% improvement from generation to generation, uh, that would be huge. To say it's going to double, a little, little far-fetched, but, I mean, crazier things have happened. NVIDIA is also expecting to use GDDR6X VRAM for its next-gen graphics cards, and will focus on improving CUDA cores counts for each card. Uh, well, GDDR6X is super expensive and it's super hot, so I imagine they're going to only use that on their like top-tier cards, kind of like they've done on the 30 series. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't see them putting GDDR6X on like a, like a 4060. Just it ain't happening. Uh, and video will likely focus on improving efficiency of the, of the likes ray tracing and DLSS2. Yeah, probably. I don't know. It seems like graphics cards are burning more and more power nowadays. Yes, they can do more and more, but um, you go rewind back five, six years ago, no consumer-grade graphics card is pulling what a 3090 pulls. You are going to have to buy like a Titan or bigger back then to even come close to that. So are the cards more efficient? Yes, but they're also, also making cards that pull significantly more power. So it's like, are we winning here or are we winning, you know? Um, so apparently that's everything we know about the upcoming RTX 4000 series cards. Well, Mr. Ryan Jones, I, I appreciate your article and, um, I, you, you added a little bit of meat, but, uh, this chicken bone was, was pretty dry. It was pretty, pretty scarce there. So to lay it down in simple terms, obviously nobody at NVIDIA watches my videos, but if there was somebody at NVIDIA that watched my videos, still make the RTX 4000 series. Just maybe, like, put that, give that to, like, the guy in the corner. You know, we don't need that right now. We we don't. Give us RTX 3000 series. Give us 3060 Ti's, 3070's, 3080's. Give us those at MSRP, like, launch MSRP prices. That's what we want. As miners, gamers, all that kind of stuff, drop this LHR BS. Even though a lot of people are like, "Oh, it doesn't matter if it's LHR or not." Okay, it is a purpose-built piece of software or and or hardware because they say it's hardware-based. Some people say it's not. It's a purpose-built piece of software slash hardware that hinders the performance of a graphics card. And yes, it only affects a few things, but uh, it's still I if they make the same exact model and it's not hindered that just just unlock it just let the consumer decide what they want to use their their card for and I guess they'll, they're never going to do that they've they've started down the LHR road and there's there's you know a few people out there that think it's like a great thing like yeah LHR is great and I'm just like okay so they they won their their publicity stunt essentially but yeah, give us 30 series at MSRP and you literally will have another basically killer year. Um, and then do 40 series like in 2023, you know? A 20 or 30 series is what came out the end of 2020. We haven't even had them for a solid over... We haven't even had them for a solid two years now. We don't need 40 series. I don't... I actually, I think this article's being a little aggressive. I don't think we're we're getting 40 series this year. I don't think they're going to... They might talk about it if AMD pushes the envelope on whatever they have coming out next. Uh, but, yeah, we don't need it. We don't... You know, and I'm just speaking for myself. Maybe you guys can drop it down below. But would you rather see newer graphics cards at crazy prices or the graphics cards now at realistic prices um but anyway guys i'm gonna sign off i hope y'all have a great one um it is it's getting late and with that being said i'm gonna end it right before 10 minutes because there's people that think that i drag videos out purposely so here's me not dragging it out to 10 minutes later guys peace